Hello everybody, Ruby Retrograde Tahoe and Tay here. And what I'll be serving you guys, uh, serving you up guys, uh, wait, ooh. what will I, what I will serve you guys up today. <laughs> it's been a long uh, late afternoon and I've been filming a series of videos back to back. So, and I think this is my last one for today. <laughs> so I apologize in advance for my mouth, um, tripping over it my mouth and my tongue tripping over itself but anyways what i'll be serving you guys up today is box two that i've opened out of the 50 hundred million um box that i have been opened but not yeah shipping box open deck not opened um in my little corner i don't know if you remember if you've if you've watched the video where i kind of say a little uh what's up what's been up with me lately uh i've showed a, a a corner of the room where all my tarot are and i showed uh my 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 corner of 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 not forgotten but it's just i haven't gone to yet decks <laughs> it's a little bit sad my my side my side uh, deck still waiting to be uh used but in any case so that's one of them. Uh, it's uh, it was originally a Kickstarter camp on. It was originally on Kickstarter, and uh, uh, but unfortunately, it did not meet the target that the creator set for their uh, tarot. I believe the um, uh, the goal was. I'm looking at my notes here. Twenty two thousand. Twenty two thousand eight hundred. Uh, and then they got about half. They got like 10700 and whatever. So uh, after that happened, the creator made it possible for those that were interested in buying this deck to pre-order it on their website. And um, I decided to do so because I, I, the deck was really interested, uh, interesting to me. So I decided to do that. And the... It came in this nice box and I did like the touch, like, you know, it's a simple cardboard box, but I did like the touch of putting the little, I guess you could say brand or logo um, of the tarot on the box. And you'll see, you'll see the star uh, a bit everywhere. Now, uh, it's going to be a little bit different because I did film a French version of the uh, unboxing. So if you want to see the French version and uh you can go just click in the little information over there the only advantage is that you'll see how the cards originally were organized when i pulled it out of the box because it was a little funky now i've kind of put it back in order so that um it it, it doesn't uh you know if anyone has a little particular thing about wanting to see them all in, in a certain order at least it'll be like that uh, so the name of the tarot is called Le Tarot Vert. Here is the box. A tarot and tarot deck and guidebook. And it was created by Lermit. Uh, Le Tarot Vert. On the Kickstarter, it's a Tarot Vert, a monochromatic Art Nouveau divination tool. When I got the deck, it came in this pretty cool... Uh, velour i almost want to say like suede because it eh, anyway suede velour um feeling bag you have the star here that we saw in the box it's in this kind of yellowy mustard color this was a really nice bag I, I thought this looked really good and i also had a little thank you note from Lermit, the creator this is on a plastic material vinyl maybe with a little thank you also like i mentioned this was the box it is in a two-part box with little thumb cutouts so you can easily pull it out and again you see the stars all over the place at the back of the cards uh or the back of the box uh, it says here, using monochrome, Le Tarot Vert illustrates neither black nor white concepts, the journey of the soul through life. Same thing in French. And oop, when I open the box, the, the deck is already on the side here. So this is what the inside looks like. Quest to find thyself. And then the same illustration you see on the inside of the box. 
It also came with a bilingual guidebook. You just have to flip it over and you can get French or English. And in my copy, which I thought was pretty cool, he autographed it. Thank you so much. May your path be bright. Lermit. I thought it was pretty cool. And so we'll take a look at it. It's pretty chunky. It's only chunky because it has French and English in it. We'll take a look uh, more at the guidebook before uh, when we get to pulling some cards. So this, these are the cards when you pull them out. Like I mentioned, because I did a French, um, I started off by doing a French unboxing. Uh, it doesn't have the little plastic ring that was holding them together. And also it is now in quote unquote proper order. It wasn't the little funky order. Originally what it was was the majors were at the back and you had to kind of flip it like this and you went from the world to the full and then for the minor arcanas they had grouped all um, of the numbers together as opposed of doing it by suits it was all the numbers so you had all the kings all the queens um etc 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 together so but here we're gonna have it in a ascending although yeah anyways it's gonna be in, in numerical order and then by suits uh, now, like I mentioned, the back of the cards is this. It is reversible. It is just a simple six-pointed star on, again, that monochrom monochromatic uh, green palette. Uh, it seems to play between this darker, I don't know what to call it, um, mm, olive green, maybe, like a dark olive green to something a bit more khaki, maybe. The card are matte, and they are they have a nice thickness. They, they they just holding one card, you know, it it feels solid. It has a good amount of flexibility to it. It's not too bad, of course. Be careful with, depending how you shuffle. Um, but when I was shuffling them, I didn't have too much trouble. Also, the edges have this nice. Um, golden green color that continues in the mono monochromatic palette i will have issues saying monochromatic and yes I, as i shuffled you can see that i have there's a little bit of scuffs that happened and it is uh, i believe i mentioned it already it's a matte finish as you can see i'm gonna put the light a little bit more here so what i'm going to do now i'm going to start it off here And I will approach the cards and we will just start flipping through and you can see the illustration of Le Tarot Vert, starting off with the Fool. Magician. Priestess. Chris. the play with the colors and the and the color well color, it's one it's not actually one color or maybe it's one color just diluted into certain degrees with the white depending how you want to see it but uh this monochromatic play for the lights and, and shades and stuff it's really nice and the drawings are seem detailed and at the same time not and i'll i'll show you guys an example of what i mean by detailed but not detailed here we have the emperor and something i notice is the look of that emperor seem authoritative um uh condescending uh high and mighty so it, i don't know it's the type of look that if someone were to give that to me i i would take a little bit of issue with then we have the Hierophant. Interestingly, with the Falcon. Yes, the Falcon. Um, I don't remember seeing Hierophants with Falcons a lot. The Lovers. Here it's uh, two uh, men, we'll say, depicted. And there's only one... Uh, lover card which is this one so that there's no alternative this is it 
show you. Strength. I find it really interesting because it's not a lion. It's a mirror that she's holding. Maybe the strength to look at yourself in the mirror, the strength to see yourself for what you really are, to um, maybe even hold yourself accountable, something like that. The Hermit. I would have thought that star would have ended up here in the lantern, but it's not even there. Then the Wheel of Fortune. Which is interesting with a skull. It's just somebody holding a skull. And it's only now I'm no well, it's now. I'm noticing that the little tarot wheel that we see on the, the usually on the right away Smith um is on the 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 cranium. Yeah, that part is the cranium of the skull. And then there's something about these holes. I don't like these holes. It's not that it's tripping me up, it doesn't give me the ick like other holes are, but something about these holes that i don't like so if that might bother you be aware the justice card i like the this fig this uh, figure i like this art for the justice something about the posture then we have the hanged one i have this one is, seems a bit dark. Um, dark to me. Not in terms of like the feeling. I'm feeling dark about it. But it's just. It's very shade. Well shaded dark. Anyways I'll, I'll call it dark. I, I And it give me, gives me the impression that. There are things. That I'm missing in the details. Maybe in the details of the person here. That's that's hanging from their feet I don't know death that one is interesting and temperance it's just one jug that they're pouring and not two the devil Here we don't see if there's anybody like tied up to the devil or anything like that. The tower. I kind of like this um, art interpretation of the tower. Then the star. I wonder... I wonder why though the star is so tiny that they're holding. It's like this teeny cracker sized star. And in my head I'm thinking that I'm thinking, okay, it's star, I see it as something of hope, silver lining and things like that. But this is when you're kind of finding like the smallest thing to be like, all right, it's still good. There's still hope I can still get going. Like here's the, the silver lining or you know it's bad but at least there's this and it's it's like you trying to find like the smallest thing to hold on to to be like to not say this is completely complete garbage just situ whatever situation you're in or something like that then we have the moon which i find quite interesting and he, again here i didn't notice it when i was filming doing the video in french and now i'm noticing a bit more now the branches there and it's because it's so dark all around. Then the sun. Interesting because there's no horse, no sunflower, just this person chilling. It's like the world car on the world car, the world card. Oh my goodness, where did the D go? So, um, you know, the world card. Um, it's this the 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 lady or whatever who's uh, surrounded by this uh, the the laurel the laurel crown or whatever it is, and then it looks like she's dancing. And here it's like okay break time, and there's uh, the world world card just chilling. Like yep, I'm on my fifteen. 
then judgment. And the world breaks over. <laughs> I'm sorry, then my brain thinks random, random stuff. Now we're going to start with the minors. We're going to start with the Ace of Swords. And I'm liking the perspective we have on the Ace. It's like your hand holding the sword. I like that stance. It's not a, a cloth that's covering her eyes, it's herself as she's uh, moving the swords around. And this one, oof, the three of sword. That one is heavy, it's poignant. Gives me Romeo and Juliet vibe. When everything goes down and goes off the rails. Then we have the Four of Swords. No, sorry. What did I say? Did I say the Four of Swords? Sorry, that was... Ooh. Sorry, that was the Six, actually. Let me put this in proper position. I knew something was odd. Sorry, my bad. My mistake, everyone. Here is the actual Four of Swords. Then the five. And here is the six. There we go. It makes more sense. I was thinking like, why is the guy like naked as if he's going to take a bath? It's making no sense for the four. And I misread my numerals. Here goes seven. A little bit of slipperiness. The eight. This is beautiful too. You're trapped. You don't know what to do. And yet, maybe it's most likely it's your own doing that you can't see which way to go. Then the nine, again, another card, very uh, communicative. And 10. I don't know if you can see it, but the detail here in the guy that's like stabbed with all these swords, there's like an eye. I have to like really look closely but there's an eye open i'm pretty sure it's open it gives me that um i think what was it most most of the time it's like horror movies but other types of movie where you think the the character is dead and then all of a sudden an eye is open or the hand comes out of the dirt or whatever else or they get up suddenly so it's kind of like i'm i'm down but i'm not dead type of thing now we're in the court cards and here's the thing um well you'll see it and then i'll talk about it a little bit this uh, would end up to be the page of swords then we have the knight queen Right now with the cups. Got two. It's a collaboration, but the way they're looking at each other, you think it was a face ball, uh, face off at, at a boxing match. Then three. Four. Again with the naked person down in the dumps, but I guess this little thing could help. Five. 
also very telling. I like this. Six. This one is interesting because it doesn't right away talk about memories or like memories, shallow memories, reminiscing or whatever else. So this one is kind of interesting. It almost has a stance of the temperance card. Like have it have it pour from here to there and back, and there there's temperance. Minus all these cups. Then seven. We have eight. He gone, he gone. He's done with it. Nine. This nine guy is like really chilling. And it, oh, hold on. I'm just seeing this out. There's like a cup really close to what I'll say you. Or in the, I'll say me, but really close to whoever is looking at it, as if you're in the tub with the tune. And then ten. I'm kind of hungry, so this card is making me hungry. Again with page. The night. Queen. And king. Now with the flames. Um, or wands. Here is the two. And I'm looking at it. And it looks like. Here's the ace, lighting up the candle for two. And then from two, what's going on? We're, we're taking, is it the same candle? Almost seems like the same candle being taken over there in the three. And then for home sweet home. Seems like it's warm inside. There's a uh, little smoke coming out of the chimney. And again, it's dark. Like the whole outside, uh, the sky is dark. It's, I don't know, it might be the middle of the night because you can barely see. You don't know if there's anything lurking in, in, in the dark or if there's any details. And then, wow, five. At first, I, I was looking at this, and at first, I was thinking like a. I, I could almost hear the guy yell like "charge," but now I'm revising it, and instead, the dude is saying "for Sparta." <laughs> don't mind me; it's just I don't know because I I'm looking at it, and it I'm thinking in my head of a scene, like one of the scenes in Sparta. I'm pretty sure it's about like the same camera. Like, that's how they arranged the camera in that scene. And the guy was like, we're going for Sparta, for Sparta. And then they're running. And yeah, anyways, <laughs> here goes my mind. And that's pretty cute for the Six of Wands. And a little birthday cake. Like, yay, you one year older, you made it. Now we have seven. Eight. Pretty. It seems in Rider Waite Smith, um, either clones or adaptation. Uh, many times for the Eight of um, Wands, in this case, Flames, it's something, I don't want to say generic. I'll say maybe abstract, where it's, you know, if it's not the sticks going this way, that way, whichever way, it'll be something like this. Just the flames uh, here. We have some kind of movement. Maybe there's the wind blowing on them. And then here is a uh, nine. Nine. 
Doll 9. I'm not sure where this... If she's like in... Oh, maybe it's the grass. It's grass, actually. I was thinking... I was thinking she was in the middle of some sort of... Um, fog. I was thinking there was fog all over. And then just the candle lights were kind of... Um, lighting the way. But now that I'm paying attention... I'm, I'm noticing that it's actually bits of grass and stuff around the candles and stuff it's actually maybe more of a field and then 10 okay now we go with the court cards again with the page Oops. night and i think we've noticed by now all the nights are horses very well drawn horses pretty horses queen and king here i'm not seeing the the eyes very well yeah hold on let me look with my eyes eyes and on my camera's eyes okay when i look with my eyes eyes Bear in mind, I don't have my glasses on. It's hard to see the eyes. Here in the camera, I can see it a little bit more. But see, it's something like that. Like, we're missing this detail. Is it deliberate? I don't know. At this point, it probably is, but... And then the coins. That's very cool for a two of coins. cool perspective and it's like it's you you're looking at your own feet balancing then three got four five no, that's not true. I lied again. This is six. Ugh. Sorry, guys. I don't know how I, I mixed up the, the cards. Here. Here is five. And what I find interesting, that it seems like they're, the person is giving you the coins. And they're crying about it. As if, like, I'm sacrificing this for you because you need it more than me, maybe. But the you or whoever is being handed the coin and this person are both in um, dire straits then we have six actually is it the same hand that's giving the coins no it's not the same clothes now that i think about it hold on sorry <laughs> You know, I'm hoping that it's not the same person who's getting the coins from the person that was already in need who's also getting coins from the next person um, who's able to give you some because that would suck for that first person. Like, you're going and asking around and this person doesn't know that you're getting more coins. Anyways, it, it, the thought just came to me. Now this is seven. We have eight. They look like they're studying their coins. Maybe it's a collection of coins. And then nine. This is vibing, living the life, living the best life. No cares in the world. Oop. And then 10. And for the last time, the court cards page the night the queen and the king looking like a happy farmer okay here are for the cards with very
nice images. Quite interesting depictions. So what we're going to do now is shuffle the deck and pick one major and one minor arcana to read from the guidebook so we can see uh, how it is explained. So to shuffle, it's not um, too difficult. There's not much clumping. I think you can hear it, hear the sound. Oh. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, okay. Um, let's go here and here because this was the first. These are the first that came as I well, the first major that came right after the minor. But uh, yes, yeah, so as I think you could hear it when I was shuffling. It's it sounds a little bit. Uh, A little bit like those polyester suits <laughs> but uh that's all good and now we're going to take a look at the def the meanings or definitions explanation whatever you want to call it for the seven of flames and the magician so for the guidebook like i mentioned it is bilingual it's a flip for one language and the other my copy however um uh the cover uh, was misassembled so that here you see that it would be livre de, ref livre de référence. So you would think it's the French side. However, no, it is the English. And obviously vice versa, where you think it's the guidebook, it's actually the French version. And I think I mentioned also there was a little autograph. Yeah, so here, there was a little autograph those are which was pretty cool uh so here in the first page where we talk about le tarot vert well-known divinatory tool the tarot represents an images different situations or concepts that an individual can experience through life every detail in the illustrations is deliberate their presence bring a richness of meaning and additional depth i suggest you listen to your intuition and take the time to welcome visual and sensory messages and then here is how the cards can be uh, separated. And then again, a little bit the same thing that was in the back, the, the back of the box, of the bottom box. And then we go straight into the meanings. However, it starts with the Ace of Swords. And the majors are at the end there. It's about 80 pages for all the meanings. Very simple. Uh, doesn't have any illustrations of the cards there. If we look at the Seven of Flames, Flames over here, we have little keywords, aggression, conviction, challenge. The assurance acquired with the success of the Six of Flames will be useful to defend your convictions, rights, and values. Your victory is not an end. Your quest is not finished. Some may try to appropriate your light. Stay vigorous. Reverse giving up defeat. Um, it's a different thing, but about uh, in the same... Uh, the same area of how i understand the seven of wands uh, slash flames to be uh, i don't know that i would have thought of aggression i would have thought more of defense um here like they say here and also part of conviction uh, i guess it depends on the situation or the question or whatever but i'm not mad at it i think that's okay and now we will go to there we go magician yes that is a magician talent creation manifestation the magician has the power to create everything he wants just like you do i probably should have bring the card a little bit higher, closer there you go uh, the four suits are depicted in front of him he has all the necessary elements to realize his intentions it represents the beginning of the quest of a lifetime reversed procrastination lies prudence yeah that's again in the the, sense, the usual sense I take the magician to be. So, uh, no complaints there in terms of the, the meanings. The only thing that I will note is that when they get to the court cards, 
So here I will take the example again with the flames because I'm I was reading the flames here. It won't you only have the icon that you see on the card. Let me see. No, I'm not lucky to. Whoop. Uh, no, I'm not lucky enough to find an example right away. Anyways, um, so here, and the only reason why I knew that this was page, this was knight, this was king, and this was queen was because A, I had looked at the guidebook while I was doing, again, <laughs> the French version of this unboxing. And be uh, because otherwise, when I first took it out of the box, it was what i first thought were the queens but it turned out it was the kings and then all the layers of the queens and then vice versa the knights are i guess easy to 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 determine which they are because it's just horses it, it's for all no matter the suit it's horses so here let's see if i can pull out all of the horses so at least that's easy but when you get to uh is that is there a difference with, uh, okay if you get to king and queen, the only reason you will s you can tell which is what is because one for all the queen cards, the characters there are women, women presenting, however you want to uh, determine it, and for all the kings the uh characters as i'm pulling them here are all um men male presenting whatever however so here there see i'm pulling like all the cards anyways so here for example these i know they're the knights so here the symbol i take it to be a horseshoe knights you don't see the knight itself you see the horse uh the page you know, it's some person, whoever it may be. Then you have the... Oh, I don't have two... Okay, I have like three every four kings. And let's see if I can find another queen. Ah, there you go. See, again, the only reason why I found it so quickly is like some uh, lady-looking queen. And on top of that, what can... It can easily be mistaken for the king if we're looking real quickly is because for what is the queen you have a simple circlet the king has a little extra ornament little wing extra wings but looking at it real quickly from like farther away like this it's more you for me at least i rely more that okay this is a guy this is a girl so king queen but if there was nothing and I'm just looking like this, it would take me a little bit to notice that this one has extra wing. This one doesn't. So therefore, king and queen. So that is a little bit of a, sorry, a little bit of a downside to me. However, otherwise, what do I think about this deck? This is a really interesting concept to do um, a whole set of cards in a mono, mon, monochromatic theme and green uh, when you hear just le tarot vert or green tarot you know you're thinking it's going to be some bright green uh, lively uh you know plants green maybe neon or whatever uh but no this one went for more uh, sober palette which it still makes it interesting the cardstock itself is good i do like that the yes it's gold edges but it doesn't it's not bright gold it's still a gold that falls in line with um the whole palette of the um of the the, the tarot deck the art itself i find it's really beautiful it communicates well um the expressions at least for those that you see, <laughs> are, are very well done. And for the aces that are all a hand holding something, like here, I find that it's like really well drawn. It's really well detailed. There's something about those hands there that I'm, it, it's, I really like. I, I wouldn't be able to say why, but something about it, I find it's really, really well done. 
um so for my uh and then also i would say with the guidebook i mean anybody who has some sort of basic knowledge of the rider weight smith system will be able to um to pick it up and read it maybe the only thing is remembering that this little book is a is a page and the little horseshoe although you just have to look at a horse if you see horsey horsey is a knight and then after that it's just a court card that you'll have to get used to my so and then which leads into my uh, uh i don't want to say less like but maybe things that may cause um, not irritation anyways a downside a little downside like i mentioned the icons on the uh, on the court cards when i first pulled the deck out i got conf i mixed the kings and the queens up and when i looked in the guidebook it didn't even meant it makes no mention of the fact that uh icons are used to depict the court cards as opposed to just straight up saying king queens uh, kings queens page and knights so if it, it, it may bother you for a little bit while you're getting used to the deck and learning to read with it. Maybe afterwards you just won't pay attention and it'll be fine. But that is something maybe to think about. Um, and then also, like I mentioned, here is a good example. Sometimes in the um, cards that are in a night scene or maybe a dark scene, uh, it can, to me, I feel like some details are lost. And that maybe some detail, yeah, some details that we could benefit from seeing are missing. Maybe if the cars were a little bit not as contrasted dark, I didn't have such a dark contrast. Um, maybe it would it would be a little bit nicer, but at the same time, maybe there's a purpose for it to be dark there's meaning also in in that pitch black um unable to see details um peeking out maybe there's a, a sense of unknown maybe there's a danger so and i think i'm gonna stop here because i really like i, I like this tool of sort she looks ready to attack or anything like that but uh otherwise uh, I, I like this deck and I, I'm glad to have it. I'm most like, it's most likely going to be like I do with, uh, with a lot of my deck where it's just uh, a general uh, pull. You know, just one to three cards, maybe more in uh, general reads or if I have questions or things like that. Uh, but otherwise, here is the unboxing and flip through of Le Tarot Vert created by L'Hermite. Uh, hopefully... Uh, this if you've if you've come across it before and you were looking you were trying to decide whether to get it or not hopefully this will help you decide uh, which way you're you're gonna go uh, I, at the time of this filming I did not verify to see if there were copies still left for sale or not I will check it out and if there are I'll put the link uh, on the in the description box and if not I'll just put the links to Lermit's socials so you can check it out and if you want a message message them and see if they have any available or if they're planning on doing a reprint however it is but otherwise if you have any questions or let me know if that if you would see yourself having this deck in your collection and what you would use it for let me know in the comment section below down there Boop, boop. or if there's anything you'd like to see me do with it maybe a particular spread or anything like that let me know also in that comment section below uh, and so i will take no more of your time and i thank you for the times that you spent with me going through this deck and just chilling with me and hopefully i'll see you on in my next video which two time two chances out of three will probably be another unboxing unless i decide to do something else so until next time Bye-bye, guys.